Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to wire up an outlet that works off a light switch and you'll have a uh, power on the top of your outlet and then your bottom part of your outlet will be operated off a light switch like when you come in your door, you flip a switch and the light will come on I'm going to show you how to do that I've got this set up just for your basic wiring job of course there can be so many different ways you can do it some of them the power may come in from the bottom but I've got a power wire coming in here for my uh, receptacle my light switch it goes to my receptacle and then down here on the bottom I've got power coming to my outlet that's separate from my light switch but then I've got a wire run from my box on my light switch down to my receptacle box I've got it marked switch that's going to power the separate part of the outlet and what we want to do first is come in here and remove all of our insulation off of our try to stay in the middle of your wire and not cut your insulation on your your hot and your neutral pull that up what we're using here this is number 14 14 2 that's pretty much your your standard uh, light switch size wire they make a, a 20 amp would be a number 12 2 and it's more or less for uh, outlets and higher amperages the voltage is the same just, you just got more amps I say what we want to do come in here first get these stripped out of the way and like I say I, I've got my wires marked at the top of my insulation I know that's that's my light switch right there and then that's going to be my my outlet right here we'll come in here on the top part and I've got my my P my uh, that's my power supply right here I've got it marked on the top by code you're supposed to leave I think six at least six inches of wire sticking out of your box so you can access your your uh, receptacle or your plug in case you need to get in here and work on it again that may not be exactly six inches but this is just more more or less for demonstration so I can show you the wiring techniques of it this is your pretty much your standard uh, cheap 15 amp that's what most people would buy probably get it for a couple of dollars probably not even that much really and uh, all you want to do when you hook up a, a light switch all you want to do is uh, hook up your two power wires which this is my power supply I want my power supply coming into the bottom of my outlet you always want to look on your outlet you can look uh, up here at the top it says off flip, flip it on it says on so you always make sure it don't matter really but I mean it just makes it easier knowing your power comes in the bottom and then what we want to do take my strippers you can, like say, you can look on the strippers they're, they're number 10 12 14 make sure you get on the 14 that way you get on the right uh, side that'll, that'll be your third one up I like to strip out about three quarters of an inch maybe maybe just a little more than three quarters not a whole lot more just 
about like that. Like I say, this one still my hot my hot wire that's coming into my switch first. But on the back of these switches, you've got a small hole here. And there you can just take these and stab them in the end the back. I don't like to do them that way. You know what I'm saying? These these to me are better held by screws. You can get them tighter. They just do better. What I like to do, I'll come in here and take my pliers, my strippers, make a little curve in them, and you wire. Now what you want to do is come in here and turn this so it'll snug up on your switch. Snug it up pretty good. And your other wire, this is the wire coming down, this is the wire coming to my switch. That's coming off the other side of my light switch. Turn that around there. Make sure you don't get any uh, insulation under your screw. Make sure you've got total copper under your screw. No insulation under your screw. Snug them up pretty good. That's all, that's all you need on your switch other than your, your ground wire. All you need on it what we can do on it twist these together we'll make sure you get it pretty good good and snug there and what I'll do now I'll take some uh, some lineman pliers Twist them like that, make sure they're good and, good and snug. Cut off my excess. And then we'll take our, our wire strippers again, make a, a loop in my, my ground wire. And that goes on your your green screw and then we want to bend that on around just a little bit snug it up just a little now that leaves you with your two neutral wires what you want to do to them strip them dudes out about about a half an inch, more or less. Don't have to be exact. And then I like to use a yellow wire nut on them. Try to keep your copper e even at the end right there. Snug them up pretty good. Push it all the way back in my box. And then I'll do the same for my light switch here. And then I'll push it up just a little. You can use a drill on this, but do not over tight it. I use this just to save a little time. I usually get it up close and stop. They don't over tighten it. And look, make sure your copper wire is not touching any, any of your, your hot wire. 
got little slots in your receptacle plug in switch whatever it allows you to center it up now what we want to do you've got basically a couple different kind of outlets here this is uh pretty much the same quality as your light switch up there it's just el cheapo i mean it's about as cheap as you can get i don't really recommend them I mean, that's what people use. They're okay. They're, you know, rate, rated by code. So, I mean, they're, they'll work. You've got a little better receptacle here. These are 15 amp too. Both of these are 15 amp receptacles. And you can look right here, that little tab right here that connects these two together see how small that is you got it on both sides that that was your hot side that's your silver colored or your copper colored screws your neutral is your silver colored screws you've still got a little connection here that connects those two together and the reason for that you can come in here with uh, one wire on your hot side And connect it up and that makes both sides of your outlet hot your narrow one is your hot spade your uh, your wide blade here is your neutral and of course your ground is the other one so what you want to do you can see that on both of your outlets see this one is a little better quality outlet See how much bigger your tab is here. That separates, you know, that, or that connects your two receptacles together. That's a whole lot bigger. A whole lot bigger on both sides. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one to match that outlet, or add that switch, I mean. So what you wanna do whenever you do hook up, this is your power coming to your outlet. Usually you would hook this up and then like I say, you've got one power wire coming in here that fires both both sides of your outlet. What we're going to do, we're going to come in here and on this little tab I, I showed you here. We're going to break both of those tabs off. Break both of them off. Just come in here with some pliers. You can usually just twist them right off. You can see, uh, let me get this one, I'll show you. You can see that I twisted it off and now they're separated. I've isolated each side of the outlet on the hot side and this side on my neutral side. I broke that little tag connector tab. So now what we'll end up with, I'm gonna hook up my power to my outlet side first. You can hook these up either way. You can have your light switch that powers your lamp on the top or the bottom of your your receptacle i like to put the light switch on the bottom of your your receptacle that way that leaves your top part of your receptacle hot all the time it's easier to get to plugging in a vacuum instead of trying to go under another light cord so we're, we're going to end up switching our bottom side of our outlet for our light switch so this is my outlet side. I want to go ahead and twist these around like I done the other one. Go ahead and do all of them. I'll wait on that because I, I want to twist my grounds together. So what we'll do, come in here, we, we want to make sure, I'll, I usually come in here and I'll put my, my ground going down. I don't know that it matters to me that they just look better like that so what we're going to do we want this coming on the top part of our outlet so we'll snug that dude up and you want to make sure whenever you hook these up go straight across keep this neutral on this side this this see i got it on the top part you want to keep the same 
one on the top part of your silver screw now your neutral is your silver screw we well, want to turn that dude around I'll close him up just a little bit here make a little tighter loop a lot of times you can tighten them up a little and just bend that some and that'll let you get over your screw better I may have a pound and that's just right I've already got it uh, looped together there try and get it to tighten up a little now oh yeah that's not bad right there see how it's going in the right direction like my screw that way it'll tighten itself on around not too bad now my hot this is now hot it's not hot yet but that one's got power on it all the time now i want to take my switch leg which is going to be this dude right here this is going to be my hot wire to my outlet Snug that dude up. And now we got all the, the power wires connected. Now what we need to do is hook our ground wires up again. And we'll get this one all put in there. You want to make sure you try to keep them centered. The reason for that, you you don't want your, your hot side coming in contact with your box. And that, that way you're, uh, you're clear. What we'll do, we'll come in here now. This is not the right color plate. It'll give you a good enough idea. supposed to look like now yeah, we'll put a light switch on a cover on the top here now let's see what we got we're gonna plug a receptacle in or plug in the bottom here a light switch see if it works we got lights that's good now let's see if our plug-in's hot all the time yes sir plug-in stays hot no matter what the light switch does you come home it's dark you hit your light a lamp comes on look at there hey guys we appreciate you watching hit that subscribe button don't forget to push the like button too <laughs>